Hi, today we're going to have a quick look at how to use the Windows 10 keyboard shortcuts. Okay, basically there are a few new ones, okay, and a few old ones in here. Okay, let's assume we wanted to dock this, okay? We used to do it before, bring it to the edge, and it's done. Now, there's a slightly easier option. Press the Windows key, and then you can press the little arrow button, left, right, up, down, depending on how you want to dock it. You just Windows key and the arrow keys, which are on the right-hand side at the right bottom of your keyboard. Okay, that's a beautiful little one. Okay, as we know, there was always the Alt tab, okay, which is basically switching between here and here. Alt tab. Okay, now we have this nice little new beautiful window. Okay, I want to go to the next one, settings. There we go, that's there. Okay. We also have another thing that's been set up in Windows 10, which is virtual desktops. For this, which is this little icon over here, you can also move between them between by pressing Windows key and the Tab key. Okay, there we go. And you can create new happy desktops. Okay, and that's set up over there, as you can see. Now if I press the Windows and the Tab key, I have two desktops, okay, which is a beautiful thing. Okay, this is quite nice. Okay, we have a few other things, as you know. For example, let's assume this is all full screen. You can click this little fellow over here, right in the corner, to get to your desktop, or you can press the Windows key and D. You got your desktop. Okay, if you just wanted to peek at it, which is kind of like, like a preview kind of thing, just a quick look at it. It's the Windows key and then the comma. There we go. That's it. It's just peeking at it. You see? So once I take my fingers off the keyboard, I'm back to normal. Okay. Let's say I want to minimize this window. Okay? Very simple. Windows key, press the M button. That's it. It's happily minimized. Okay, let's assume he's there. Now we want to maximize the window. It's basically the Windows key. All right. And then it's the up arrow. Just from that position, it maximizes it. Okay. If we were using the Windows key and then the down arrow, that minimizes it. Now, Windows key, start moving him around with the other arrows. And we're getting basically the snap-ins. Okay. Now let's, we want to get the task manager, which is something that we might want to use. Control, shift, and escape. That's the ESC key at the top. That'll open up our task manager over here. Okay. If we were to press control, alt, delete, alt, delete, there we go. All right. Control, alt, delete brings this screen up which basically allows you to switch users very happily, very quickly. You can, if you have different users opened up on the same computer, okay, open up Task Manager or change your password every once in a while. Okay, you could sign out, you could lock the computer. Okay. Okay, if we want to get up, shall we say, a quick run dialog, it's the Windows key and R. That's the happy thing. Then you can type in here, for example, cmd.exe. Okay, very quickly can open up a program from there. Okay. You have, shall we say, File Explorer. If you want to quickly get this little fellow open, it is the Windows key and E. Beautiful. That's a quick little shortcut over there. Okay, if you want to zoom in or zoom out on your screen, it's the Windows key and then the plus symbol, which is next to the zero, and then you have your minus and the plus, okay, which is zooming in. Happy little magnifier. And then if you zoom out, it's the exact opposite. Windows key and the minus sign. Okay, let's create a new virtual desktop. Okay, it's basically the Windows key, control, whoops, don't hold it too long. Windows key, control, and D. Oh, get rid of that. Hold on. Windows key, control, and D. There we go came in with a totally new desktop. Now we have one, two, three, four. Okay, be careful, and you can shut them down quite happily like this. All right, we're back to our original. Okay, if you want to close the current desktop, okay, let's create a new one. 
which is Control, Windows, and D. Okay, so let's assume we're now in Desktop 2. We want to close it down. All we need to do is press the Windows key, Control, and F4. Many people have issues with, shall we say, other monitors. How do you get to monitor 2, monitor 3, monitor 4? Okay, it's very simple. It's just the Windows key and then P. Okay, right now we don't have any other monitors installed, so it's not coming up on this virtual desktop. But it's basically Windows, whoops, escape, Windows and P. And then you would have basically a list over here. Okay, you could go to, shall we say, connect to the next one, the next projector, etc., etc. Okay, all right. We also have, shall we say, how do you screenshot this? Okay, there's the happy OneNote clipper. Okay, there's also the very old fashioned but still good and running, which is Control Print Screen. Now, for example, if I was to open up WordPad, or let's just go to Paint, let's keep it simple. There we go, Paint. And now we want to paste in it, so it's Control V. Given a bit of luck, it'll control print screen in here. Control V. There we go. Sorted. Okay, so that was basically how you do a snapshot of your desktop thing. I've snapped it in over here but basically if you wanted to open up the settings it's windows key and i okay and that opens up the settings window okay right if you want to open up your devices look at all the devices it's basically windows and k okay that will search for all the devices that are connected to the computer okay if you want to search for files okay all you need to do is windows key and f okay that's the same thing as what was in windows 8 it brings up our little search bar over here okay let's just press escape to get out of that okay if you want to shall we say if we need to get to our admin tools menu very important windows key and x Okay, that brings up over here. We can happily go into computer management, admin, etc. etc. Okay. Windows narrator, in case you need it, it's Windows key and enter. Okay. There we go. We have our narrator opened up. Okay. Let's look at one final one. Okay. Which is basically, if we want to, it is launch a pinned taskbar app. Okay, let's assume we want to go there. So that will be the Windows key, and then you choose a number. Okay, for example, 1. 1 is bringing up File Explorer. 2, Windows key and 2, brings up the store. Windows key and 3, brings up the next one, pinned to the taskbar, and etc, etc. All the way up to the last number. Okay. Hopefully this has helped you. Have a good day. Thank you for watching.